ladies and gents, welcome back. They're definitely trying to pull the wool over your eyes on this one here. So the opposition has been criticizing the Liberal Party on their decision to raise payroll taxes. Now, the Liberal Party has been saying we're not raising taxes uh, because CPP and EI contributions are not taxes. That's their that's their excuse. So we have an opinion article from Sask Today, and I really like this one. Yes, payroll taxes are taxes. No, Trudeau shouldn't be raising them. This is from uh, Franco Terrazano from the Ta Canadian Taxpayer Federation. Uh, getting into it, uh, political pundits are twisting themselves into a pretzel, arguing mandatory Canadian Canada pension plan and EI employment insurance payments are not a tax. They're missing the point. The government is taking too much of money from Canadians. That's the real point here. If you make $65,000 this year, then the federal government is taking nearly $4,500 directly from your pay through CPP and EI taxes. Every employer must also cough up an extra $4,800. That's more than $9,200 that a working mom could have used to buy formula, ground beef, or pay for dental bills. But instead, her and her employer are having to fork it over to the feds. This that would be a tax, in my opinion. The total payroll tax bill increased by $818 this year for each middle class worker. In fact, payroll taxes increased three times since the beginning of the pandemic. Now that would be terrible for politicians. That would that, that would be enough to get rid of those politicians in the next election, I would say. And over the decade, the total annual pay, payroll tax paid each middle class worker has increased by $2,435. The CPP tax, or, yeah, the Canadian pension plan tax alone increased by nearly 50%. Can workers expect to retire 50% earlier? Did senior pension checks increase by 50%? <laughs> Don't count on it. No. That's how that's why these are attacks. They they didn't they didn't increase uh the payouts. They definitely increased how much you have to pay into them. There's no debate that the government is taking more money from workers through higher CPP and EI payments. But should CPP and EI payments be considered taxes? Yes. If someone if something looks like a duck, waddles like a duck, and quacks like a duck, then it's a duck. Otherwise, if it takes money from you, like a tax, funds government spending like a tax, and government, and even the government admits it's a tax, then it's a tax. Unlike fees, payroll taxes are mandatory. You can choose whether you want to purchase insurance from Manulife, a sandwich from Subway, or a ticket from Via Rail. The tax man doesn't give you a choice when it comes to CPP and EI payments. Payroll taxes don't directly pay for your service. You pay $160 for a government passport at the office, sorry, for uh, at a government passport office for the service of renewing your passport. That's a fee, but that's not what happens with CPP payments. No, uh, of course, fees, you know, you're, you're only paying the fee when you go to do it. You're, you're paying these taxes, these payroll taxes, every time you earn money. There's an assumption that the money one pays into the CPP is going to fund their personal retirement, explains Charles Lamb, uh, Lamb and Hugh McIntyre of the Fraser Institute. But most of the contributions you make today fund someone else's retirement. They're not hanging onto this money for you and then giving it to you when you retire. No, this is this is what they call a Ponzi scheme in in most uh, scenarios outside of government. Funny story. So uh, it was a number of years ago. I, I was learning about all this stuff, uh, what a Ponzi scheme was. So I decided to send uh, an email to when the prime minister at the time, Stephen Harper, and I, I was posing as a businessman. I said, hey, I got this brand new idea and I was running it past my lawyers and they objected to it. Now, what I wanted to do is I want to run a new insurance game. And what it's going to do is I'm going to call it doubling down. I'm going to send contribute. I'm going to get people to contribute the same that they give to their CPP, uh, Canadian pension plan. They can pay that same amount to me my company, and what I'll do is I'll double down. They can double down on their Canadian pension plan, and when they retire, I'll pay them with that service. Now, what I'll do is I'll pay, I'll take the money and I'll use it for other things, but at the time, 
Uh, as soon as they retire, I'll take the payments from the new people and I'll pay it to the people who are uh, we're paying in the whole time. Uh, now, my lawyer tells me that this is a Ponzi scheme. Uh, can you clarify this? I, I told him that the Canadian government won, wouldn't run a Ponzi scheme. I'm just modeling it based on the Canadian pension plan. I got a reply from the prime minister's office uh, saying that it was uh, thanks for the email. Uh, it's not legal for a, a public person to do this, but it's the mandatory uh, nature of the Canadian pension plan that makes it viable. <laughs> That's what I was told. Anyway, getting back to this. Now, it's really interesting because the liberal governments are trying to say that these are not payroll. Th these payroll taxes are not taxes. They're contributions. And that that is why they're not taxes uh, so that they can get away with political. They can get the political way of going around this and say that they're not actually taxing people. They're just contributing and you should be caring about these services. Um, now, a really interesting one, Dan Albus put this out on Twitter. Now, about a week ago, he put this out here. This is from the government's website, the government's own website. If you search uh, taxes, payroll ta or what taxes you pay in Canada, contributions by employers and employees to social security plans, such as the employment insurance system, and the Canadian Pension Plan, as well as Quebec Pension Plan or Quebec Parental Insurance Plan, these are types of taxes. Now, uh, they got wind of this because he made it uh, public and, and said this on Twitter. So <laughs> they changed the website. Now they call it types of taxes and contributions. This <laughs> It was changed on September 30th, 2022. <laughs> the open by default Trudeau liberal government strikes again and that is absolutely the case but there is no legal requirement for a future government to provide pension benefits and you pass away early uh, your CPP pension uh, benefits aren't fully transferred to your family uh, says the article that means you don't truly own the money you're forced to pay into the CPP let's review the government forces you to pay CPP and EI. The government then redistributes much of that money to other people. That's the definition of a tax. Even the federal government admits that, as I showed here. If you type in what taxes you pay into Google, the result is a government website that lists the various taxes, as we just saw. The Tax Court of Canada deals with the appeals to EI or CPP decisions. As a member of parliament, Justin Trudeau described using EI payments as a direct payroll tax increase. When did he do that? Well, he did that when Harper was on, uh, the prime minister. Here we go. Mr. Speaker, we have crowdsourced over 3,000 questions from Canadians across the country for the prime minister on economic challenges facing the middle class. I want to ask the prime minister a question I received from Dustin in Calgary. His question is specifically about his EI premiums which are rising by $50 this year, a direct payroll tax increase. Dustin would like to know why did the Prime Minister choose to raise EI premiums for him and every other working Canadian? A direct payroll tax increase. A direct payroll tax increase. So there we have it, folks. This is uh, the thing. It's a, a good bet most Canadians aren't too concerned whether deductions from their pay stubs or are described as a contribution, levy, fee, or tax. Canadians are concerned that their payment isn't eating away at Canadians' pay with higher payroll taxes. As always, link in the description down below for the article. Really good read. I recommend you uh, grab that link, share it out to all your friends, let them uh, read that from themselves. Because, <laughs> yeah, here we are. We're in a situation where the liberal government is increasing payroll taxes during a time where we're suffering massive inflation, most we've seen in a long, long time, uh, rising interest rates to try to combat this rising inflation and economic downturns all at the same time. Great, great deal from this liberal government. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of the situation. Uh, obviously, your payroll taxes have increased. How did you feel about that? Were you really happy to just contribute more to these contributions? Or were you upset that you had a bigger tax bill while everyone is paying more and more for all these other services? in the private sector and groceries and whatnot. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that now. If you watch a couple of these videos already, 
and you're enjoying this, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. It lets you know when I go live. I'll be going live tonight. Every Friday I go live at 6.30 Pacific time. Check your local listings and uh, we'll see you then. Uh, but also I do additional lives uh, occasionally when I get a guest that comes on. So the notification bell will let you know when that happens if it's an impromptu thing. So please hit that notification bell. We'll see you in the next one and keep on trucking.